summer-like heat for today. We did break some records here in the capital city. I'll talk about that coming up in just a second. First, though, live pinpoint Doppler 12 completely free and clear of any kind of precipitation. That will start to change as we move towards the end of the week. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Our record to beat for today was 86 degrees, and you can see we shattered that old record. We dominated. Look at this, 92 our temperature for today officially in the capital city. Some of the rest of our high temperatures look like this. 90 in Smithfield, 77 westerly, so a little cooler on, along the water. 80 in Newport and 87 degrees in New Bedford. This 91 in Providence obviously should be updated to a 92 degrees. All right, of course, we like all the heat. It helps dry us out after the flooding last week, but unfortunately it does give us a slight a fire hazard, so a fl red flag warning in effect until 6 o'clock this evening with the breezy conditions and the very low humidity. Down City Providence, it's a very warm night still, or warm evening I should say. 88 is our temperature, winds out of the southwest at 21 miles an hour, so a little bit gusty out there. Currently 88 Smithfield, 71 Westerly, 74 Newport, and 82 degrees in New Bedford. Satellite picture shows this line of showers continues to kind of glide up to the north, but this will stay off to our north as we go into the overnight hours. A wider view shows a cold front eventually will make its way through, bringing some showers with it by the time we get into tomorrow night and Friday morning. Now, I'm watching this warm front very carefully, of course, for today. It was responsible for all the heat we saw. By tomorrow, a piece of it will turn into what we call a backdoor cold front, and that's kind of a headache for us forecasters. On the uh, northeast side of the backdoor cold front, temperatures in the 60s. On the southwest side, temperatures in the 70s and 80s, it looks like this front will slice right through Rhode Island, so we'll kind of split the difference and go with high temperatures in the mid-70s for tomorrow. But tune in tonight because this forecast may change as these uh, backdoor cold fronts tend to be a little tricky around here. So tonight, temperatures are right around uh, 60 degrees, maybe upper 50s in some spots. Tomorrow afternoon, 73 by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Then that backdoor cold front starts to drop temperatures increase the winds from the east by late afternoon. 69, you're high in Charlestown tomorrow, 71 westerly and 73 in Coventry. So in addition to the effect of this front, we'll also have a sea breeze effect along the shore where it will be cooler. Low 70s for northern Rhode Island tomorrow afternoon, 73 Foster, 73 in Johnson. And keep in mind, many of these temperatures may come during the early afternoon and by late afternoon, many locations dropping down into the mid-60s. Look at this, only 59 for Hyannis tomorrow. They'll be on the cold side of that backdoor cold front, Plymouth only 65. Seven-day future cast brings in the showers tomorrow night into Friday morning. Right now, this does not look like heavy rain, which of course is good news. We don't want to see any of that anytime soon. Friday afternoon, maybe a little sunshine, temperatures in the low 60s. And then kind of back to reality for the weekend, partly cloudy, blustery temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. But uh, breaking a record today, not yeah. quite as warm tomorrow, but still not bad.